I'm going to read it to you. I just want you guys to know that. Uh, my name is Kel, associate pastor. I know some of you, so there you go. So, uh, love wins. This has been a trending topic over the last few days once the Supreme Court of the United States made homosexual marriage legal in all 50 states. Some of you are celebrating this announcement. Others are mourning deeply. No matter your opinion on this decision, there is one point that must be made. Love does win, but not like our media and politicians would have you believe. Love and affection between two people can never truly win because that kind of love can never truly satisfy. Only true love actually wins. The only true love any of us can ever experience is the love Jesus has for us, a love so great that he gave up his own life for us. John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Now, regardless of the political climate we are in, we at Oak Creek will continue to adhere to an understanding of healthy sexuality that is found throughout the Bible. We will continue to promote, encourage, and equip couples that seek biblical counsel for healthy relationships. We will continue to celebrate marriage between a man and a woman as an act of Christian worship. Weddings will continue to be ceremonies of religious significance. Jesus laid down his life so that we might have freedom in him. Because of his sacrifice, we are no longer bound by death or sin. We can overcome because true love wins. What is true love? In 1 Corinthians 13, it says love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Much of what we've heard in the last few days does not reflect what true love is. Much of the discussion has been spiking the football in each other's faces. Only the true love Jesus showed us on the cross will free us to love like it's intended. Only the true love of Jesus working within us, transforming us, changing us will offer any hope. A hope for ourselves, for our families, for our communities, for our nation. Now is the time for us to boldly proclaim that true love wins.